Hi everyone and welcome to Brooke's four month update. Can't believe it's been four months. Four months. He's funny, huh? I don't think he's funny at all. Um, so Brooke is four months old as of yesterday and I'm like, this is not happening. <laughs> I feel like I just made a three month update, which eventually I kind of did because it was three and a half months old. So it was like two weeks ago. So yeah, she's joining me. I don't know if you guys can really tell, um, but she's right there. Hold on the arm, she's loving the lion. She's so cute. Um, so as for her weight and her length, we had the doctor appointment last week on Wednesday, so a little under a week ago. And um, before we went in, I kind of had a feeling that we were gonna be getting a little slap on the finger because she's definitely wearing two to four month clothing or like three to six or whatever you want to call it. But um, the items that Logan fit around that age, and I can like check my pictures for that and my vlogs and things like that. She fits them lengthwise, but they're like hanging on her because she is like small. She's like very fragile. Like, I don't know, like she's not thick. She's just thin and long. So I thought we were gonna maybe like get a little slap on the finger because I remember Logan being like a little bit above average and she was always above average as well, uh, weight wise. So she should be, it should be a little bit back in her because he's a girl, but not as much of you could like basically like fold it around her. So we weighed her and as soon as like the numbers come up, I was like, uh, that's bad. She only gained 600 grams in six weeks, which is not really a lot. And she was gaining 200 grams every single week. So she should have been gained, she should have gained 1.2 kilos, like almost three pounds. And she gained like one and a half. So um, right now she weighs, I need to quickly, calculate that I haven't really prepared this video <laughs> um but yeah she should have probably weighed anywhere between like 13 to 14 pounds and she was 12.3 pounds so yeah but she was uh, lengthwise she did grew and her head measurements grew as well um she was 62 centimeters something like that so um yeah we kind of talked about it and I, I kind of like told them as well, like she had the stomach flu, so that could be the reason why she hasn't been gaining as much as she should. And around three to four months, you kind of see them having like a little bit of a less of a growth spurred um, breastfeeding, like breastfed kids just do. Um, but there is a little bit of concern, especially because she drinks every three hours, even throughout the night. She doesn't sleep ever, never sleeps at night anymore. So not even like four or five hours, right? It's not funny, it's still not funny at all. No, it's not. So, and then my camera ran out of space. So, um, um, I think I stopped at, we were talking about the fact that she never really slept through the night and uh, that she still drinks every three hours. And if I pump, I would pump anywhere between mm, three to four ounces. So, um, if you calculate having her eight feedings and then having her like three and a half ounces, she would still get enough milk to grow properly. So, small, probably more um, the stomach flu that uh, made that big difference. Um, but at the same time, they're not sleeping through the night at four months old is something that isn't anything of concern for person that's like, because she's breastfeeding, but it's starting to wear me out. So we talked about it and they actually wanted me to start her on solids. And I was like, eh, no, like I literally almost got this off of because of that, because I so do not want to do that right now. I did that with Logan. I think I gave him like fruit when he was like four months old, but he was a lot more, um, like not necessarily ready, but he was very interested in like learning about food and stuff like that. Like, I don't think it, I like made it like an ideal to make him eat every single day or um, we didn't really like make it part of the schedule, but this time around I really just kind of didn't want to have any kind of salt or any kind of extra nutrition other than breastfeeding for the first six months. But uh, they didn't recommend that. They really wanted me to start with uh, rice flour or rice, whatever you put in the <laughs> yeah, ooh, in the you lost sake again in her bottles um, that I, I was giving uh, with express breast milk because she stopped refusing the bottle uh, or she started refusing the bottle of daycare, which is another story. But um, they wanted me to start with the rice flour and with vegetable uh, purees, and I said no to the vegetable purees and I said that um, since I am pumping because of the bottles. Um, to get to daycare, I'm willing to have one bottle a day with the rice flour because they suggested two. 
my last two feedings before I go to bed, before I go down to bed. I was like, uh, no, I think two is a lot. So I just wanted to do one, and I'm gonna do it with the fresh breast milk because I wanted to do it with formula. Because yeah, like the, the instant ones are just like formula and rice flour together, but I didn't, I bought the separate ones. It's way more expensive as you can do with breast milk because I really, 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 really don't want to mess with my supply. So um, that's kind of like our compromise we made. Um, so right now she, she drinks anywhere between seven to eight times a day still because um, yeah, you still do, huh? You don't care. If you put rice flour in there, you still don't sleep through the night. No. But um, so yeah, she just still drinks seven to eight times a day. Um, but right now we are pumping a lot more and she's getting a lot more bottles because she started refusing to bottle at daycare. It's been a slow progress. Um, I think she just, she got sick there. She got some flu there and she just refused the bottle. And ever since she's refusing the bottle there and it's been annoying. Yeah, you lost the suck, huh? So um, it's been really challenging to get her to take it there. So we've been doing it at home as well, at least twice a day. So usually it's around 10.30 in the morning, 10.30 uh, in the evening. And then when 10.30 in the evening, I'll put rice flour in there as well. Um, I think starting this week, she's putting a longer stretch between the feeding, but she isn't like on the dot three hours after her last feeding, she starts crying her head off because she's hungry. Um, she's starting to go, she's able to go for longer stretch, which I'm not doing. Um, I also started, um, pumping on other, on other times just to see like how much I was making and making sure that I was um, getting up because I figured if she's taking five ounces every single time we eat then she could sleep through the night. <laughs> so I'm trying to work my way up there and trying to get as much milk in her during the day so she sleeps throughout the night. And last time it actually kind of worked a little bit. I mean she only woke up once and then she woke up really early in the morning so it, she, she had two four hour stretch which was pretty good. As for her schedule, she's kind of still in the same schedule where around 7.30 in the morning we start um, feeding sometimes it's 8, sometimes it's 7, it really depends. And then she's on a three hour schedule, so um, she basically is awake for one and a half hours and then sleep for one and a half hours. Um, we've been more adamant about getting her to sleep in the cold sleep and we've been doing it a few times this month, but nothing really too serious yet. Uh, it's just we have stuff to do and places to go and it just doesn't really work out that way. As for her milestone, she is definitely a lot more vocal. She starts talking a lot more. Yeah. Um, she smiles a lot more. Yeah. Me too. She has great eye-hand coordination. Like, if you ha if she has something like a mobile or something above her head, or a little swing, swap at it. And she even uses her feet. Like, she has great feet-eye coordination too. Like, she'll just like kick with her feet. It's really, really funny. Like, there's even a game that she and Logan play, and Logan basically just puts bowling pins or blocks near her feet, and then she just kicks them, and they fall over. And Logan thinks it's hilarious, and then because Logan's laughing, she's laughing, and Logan just like does it again, and that's their thing now, so it's really funny. She is also officially rolling over from back to belly, which according to the Pediatrician's office is actually the harder way to do. Like apparently, usually babies go from belly to back first, but she's definitely back to belly one. And you can put her on her belly. And right now she's actually lifting up her head. Like a month ago, she would like flomp her head in whatever you put her on, and you scream her head off until you twist her or flip her over again. But right now she's trying to roll uh, the other way around. She doesn't have quite that hand figured out yet. And um, she really, really moves a lot. <laughs> Like, if I put her down in the playpen, I can put her down like that, like, head up here. She will, like, roll over and then lower this and then figure out a way. And she's, like, always on a different level, which is pretty awful with ghost sleeping. Because sometimes I wake up and she's, like, has her feet in my neck. I'm like, what the heck are you doing? So, um, there's, like, no way she can get underneath the blankets. But, um, sometimes I am scared that I'm going to, like, hurt her because I don't know. She doesn't, like, stay in her ghost sleep anymore. Like, she just sometimes rolls over into our bed. So yeah, that's kind of like we're also still co-sleeping and I really don't feel comfortable putting her in her own bed while we're still breastfeeding throughout the night. Um, we might try a night this uh, month because um, I have a feeling that sometimes she just wakes up because we're there and she doesn't go to sleep because she can like smell me and she knows that there's milk and she just wants to drink. Because sometimes I feel like she doesn't really like, is that hungry, she like, only drinks for, like four minutes and then she falls back asleep. So um, maybe... If she like stabilizes a little bit more, we're gonna try this month to like have her one night in her bed and to see if she will sleep longer stretches for that. 
I'm just about this time I'm like I'm just I'm destroying everything because I need more sleep than like two and a half hours at a time. The other thing Brooke has been doing is she's been sucking her fingers like a lot. Like it started off as just like putting her half her hand in her mouth like, uh, like that. And there's been a few times now where I have literally walked up to her and I realized she fell asleep and she was sucking her thumb. And I was like, Ugh. and we kind of did stop giving her a pacifier because she just doesn't like it anymore as much as she did in, in the beginning. So apparently she replaced that with her thumb because she does have a lot. You gonna show them? Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, really? You gonna show them? I don't know. I don't think that's a very smart idea. I don't think that's a very smart idea. As for choice, she loves, she loves anything of Lamas. This is the little bit of the line. Like I mentioned in my last video, her three month update, she loves Captain Calamari. That was the only one she likes. Now she loves them all. You want to look at them? Ooh. She like loves to like, play with this and like all these little things. And if it makes noise and it has like whisper things and like whatever, it's her fave. Aww. It's my fave. Yeah. You smell better. She also loves to play helicopter, which is basically just me holding on to her. Like if she's facing me, I'll just go. Ooh pretty baby and that's basically it <laughs> she loves to see like cracks up and what else do you like what else do you like you like tickets from your brother yeah well she still loves her mama boo she is still content in her playpen yeah you are and i think that's basically it for her favorite toys. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna show you guys her a little bit more up and close. She's been doing so good, huh? See, I've been doing so good, mommy. Hi. Hi. You gonna smile? You're always very camera shy, huh? Are oh, you gonna dig on your tongue? Oh, really? Uh oh, you dropped it on the floor. Huh? Whoa, isn't that pretty? Whoa. So yeah. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Say bye. You take a little bit, huh? Mm.